Tonight, under the heading, Mother Knows Best, the mom of a five-month-old girl knew something was wrong with her baby, despite what some doctors were telling her. Yeah, Faustina Cavero is her name, and she could see the glow was gone from her baby girl's face. She started having spasms and crying uncontrollably, and yet two hospitals in New York City told that mom nothing to worry about. But she knew something was wrong, very wrong. I'm like, oh my God, I know something's wrong. Out of nowhere, Faustina says her five-month-old daughter Aaliyah's face <laughs> turned pale, and then she began to spasm. She was just crying and fuzzy, and I'm like, Mom, she's making these moves. I don't know what's wrong with her. The mother of four had never seen something like this with her other kids or anywhere else, so she took her to a hospital where she was quickly dismissed. They had told me that I was under stress because um, I didn't get no sleep. Then she got a second opinion. I told them that I took her to this hospital and they told me that I was under stress. Discouraged and so very scared, Faustina took Aliyah home, but the spasms didn't stop. Listening to her mom relive this terrifying time was too much for Aliyah's big sister, Angelina. I'm crying. Hey, I'm not crying. Faustina trusted her gut and so decided to seek a third opinion at Mount Sinai on Manhattan's Upper East Side. Went in there and showed her the videos, and she said, okay, she's getting admitted, so I'm sorry. Aliyah was admitted on that day, and a team of doctors quickly got to work. A helpless Faustina could only watch and worry. Like, I want God to take me, not my baby. And I told her, I said, you have to be here for your daughter. You can't leave her. We are going to help you. We're going to do everything we can. Doctors hooked up a device to monitor brain activity. The results showed Aliyah needed immediate treatment, or she might not be able to walk or talk. If we treat them early, these kids tend to do better. If we don't treat, they tend to have a lot of developmental regression. Aliyah was treated for infantile spasms and continues to receive care and monitoring at Mount Sinai. Fast forward about a year and a half later. Aliyah is thriving and will soon celebrate her second birthday. We created a great bond and we've kept in touch for uh, almost two years now. I've been to her birthday parties, I've been everywhere. A grateful Faustina hopes her story serves as something of an important message and a warning for every parent. Mother always knows and I just hope it helps every mother.